This video deals with some of the uh, questions of pharmacokinetics uh, that we discussed, the equations that we discussed in the previous video. So this is our first equation, our first question. The question says that pharmacokinetics of a drug X has VD about 300 liter per 70 kg, clearance about 700 milliliter per minute, and oral bioavailability about 0 0.5. Okay, what? is the dose needed to achieve a plasma level equivalent to a steady state level of 20 microgram per liter. So we're going to read the question first and find out what we have to find out. What is the dose needed? So dose needed, is it maintenance dose or loading dose? Dose needed is the loading dose, right? Makes sense. Dose needed is the loading dose. Now what is the equation for loading dose? Loading dose is equal to CP, which is the target plasma concentration, times VD divided by bioavailability. Now, do we have CP? Yes, we do have CP. CP is going to be 20 microgram per liter because what is the dose needed to achieve a plasma level equivalent to a steady state level of 20 microgram per liter? So plasma, target plasma concentration is the concentration at steady state. So this is actually 20 microgram per liter. But do keep in mind that we have to convert it into milligrams. So I'm going to just do it right now. This is going to be 20 divided by 1,000 milligram per liter. So kind of like that. So what about VD? VD is our 300 liter is our VD per 70 kg. We don't have to worry about the 70 kg. And by availability, F is going to be 0 0.5. So we're going to plug in the values here. So moving from straight here to here, we get CP is 2 by 100 milligram per liter times VD is 300 liter times 1 by 0 0.5. And the liter liter cancel out and what do we get? So when we compute all this, we, we get 12 milligram. So the dose uh, needed or the loading dose in this question is going to be 12 grams. So the answer is C. Going to the next question. At 12 hours after IV administration of a bolus dose, the plasma level of a dro drug is 3 milligram per liter. If the volume distribution is 10 liter and the elimination half-life is 6 hours, what is the dose administered? So again, let's first find out what are they asking? What was the dose administered? So dose administered, is it maintenance dose or loading dose? It's loading dose. We have to find loading dose. And we already know the equation. We need, what do we need? We need uh, CP, we need VD, and we need bioavailability. These are the three things we need to find our loading dose. Now let's see if we have these three values. At 12 hours after IV administration, IV, so our bioavailability is going to be 1. At 12 hours, so let's say this is 0 hour, at 12 hour, okay, uh, the bolus dose, the administration of a bolus dose, the plasma level of a drug is 3 milligram per liter. So at 12 hour is going to be 3 milligram per liter. VD is going to be 10 liter and elimination half-life. So there is another new information here. Half-life is going to be 6 hours. Okay. What is the dose administered? Interesting question, right? So we don't seem to have CP. How can we find CP? Now CP is the uh, target plasma target steady state when we're loading it, right? It's not, we don't want the steady state at 12 hours. We want the CP when we loaded it first. So what's the half-life? The half-life is six hours. So it's been how many hours? It's been 12 hours. So that means there was two half-lives, okay? So in two half-lives, what was the value? What was this value before two half-life? Before one half-life, this three was actually six milligram per liter and before that we had 12 milligram per liter okay so the CP is going to be 12 milligram per liter so 
our loading dose is going to be CP, which is 12 milligram per liter. I'm very careful with the units, and so far I'm happy because of the milligram. Times VD is going to be 10 liters, the liters and the liter cancel out, times 1 by 1, which is the bioavailability. So really, I'm left with 120 milligram. So the answer is going to be A, the loading dose is going to be 120 milligram.